Good morning. Welcome to Peace in the Garden. I am Nick. I said, let me come on out early in the morning um, because they're talking about it's going to be like 93 today, but it feels like 73 now in Zone 7A. And I said, let me come out and do a quick little tour because I haven't done one um, for June yet. And I have a couple of beautiful little things popping up. I'm just so excited about And I said, let me just share today so we're gonna go look in the garden and check um i had a couple of uh what you call those things squash beaters out here so i've been out here um late in the evening um or if i can get up early i'll come on out in the morning but most of the time i come out in the evening because that's the best time that works for me but let's see what's going on in the garden today all right all right, so we got little beautiful little sunflower seeds coming up. It is so, so pretty. Oh, wow. I have one over here coming up as well. Oh, look at her. Let me go on the other side because I do not want to turn this big old heavy one. Let me show you how long she's gotten so far. I'm going to stand by it. Let me split you. Just how tall she has gotten wow i'm loving that i don't know how long she's going to get in the container but i'm looking for whatever blessing comes my way so let me go on this side and show you the other one it's a good view okay all right okay so we have a couple of tomatoes um that's blossoming i'm so excited about that and they look pretty good because last time I was out here, I had two of them that had a little blossom rot on there. So, I said, okay, let me just step back. And I didn't do any more um, fertilization or anything. I just wanted to wait because I did do my um, monthly fertilization I do with uh, fish emulsion. And sometimes you just got to take a step back and just wait and look. Um, so I did trim some leaves off. And then I just said, let me wait. So I'm glad these are growing back. I'm really happy about that because I wanted to have some tomatoes. So that's really good. Okay, so let's go over here um, to my cucumber. Now, I did harvest one beautiful cucumber. I'm very excited. I have one more coming up right there. Um, let me see anything else. No. Okay. And I'm also, like I said, checking for the beetles because I've been getting rid of those. Um, let's look over here. Over here, I have my sweet hybrid um cucumbers let's see okay nothing's on there but that's growing really pretty the leaves don't worry about the white stuff i've been spraying um sprinkling uh i can't even pronounce it i'm gonna put it in the comments but i have been having you know some issues and i want to do natural so i have been spraying some natural things we have um one of my watermelon plants that's growing really nice. That's a sugar baby. Um, I don't know which one this is, but that's another watermelon plant. And over here I have um, another sugar baby. I just realized this is what there was. And I have a fruit on there. It hasn't opened up, so I don't know if that's going to blossom more or what. Like I said, I'm still learning. I really don't know a lot about watermelon. I just been reading up on a few things and um, praying that that helped me to do um, what I need to do to produce some watermelon. Um, this is my lemon drop one. I've been trellising it up so it can just go up on the trellis. I really like the trellis. Let me move back a little bit so you can see. That's the full length of the trellis. It's a pretty nice size. I really like those. So I'm hoping that I'll get some fruit on there because I have not got any fruit there. Kind of small. 
that's one right there um so i'm just waiting patiently and this one right here is my um my 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 oh this is my cantaloupe this one is growing really nicely too as well no fruit has produced on that but i'm very thankful for that right here we have my tomato plant and i got a little blessing down here my miracle are coming up i'm excited about that um i gotta do some little trimming because some of them are looking a little rough i don't know why i looked inside i didn't see anything that didn't look too good but i do have one little tomato popping on right here okay then right here i'll be harvesting my onions very soon um they're not quite ready yet because right here this is supposed to get a little weak and drop down so i'm waiting i still have some time on that so i'm hoping that those get a little bigger maybe in about a month or so i gotta check my notes and over here my squash is doing really nice i come out and check like i said daily to remove any of the little beetles because they do come on the squash as well as the cucumbers and i had some pollinators come through too i'm really happy about that because that's really beautiful and look how big and beautiful this one has popped up too move the plant so you can see so i got one little squash back there i'm just waiting for them to get to full bloom so i can be able to harvest them okay so i'm going to move over here to my peppers and i actually have a lot of little blessings in here i am just so excited about this i mean i'm like wow i happened to come over here um and i saw quite a few little blessings coming on let me move the plants because i have some down here look at that <laughs> yeah i'm so excited that one look, looks a little messed up but i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna wait for everything to bloom a few of them i don't know what's going on here um something is definitely eating them sorry i'm trying to get in there real good i think this one may be okay got one little hole right there but that one down there do does look pretty not so great so i'm just hopeful and these are my potato slits they look so beautiful i'm just so grateful i can't wait to pop those open and see if we have some potatoes in there um that is i'm sorry i'm sorry that's sweet potato slits right there these are my potatoes some of them are dying off and i heard that that's a sign that um they could be getting ready but of course they're i don't know what that is if that's like a sign of not greatness or just the foliage dying off too so again i'm still learning um i probably got about another month on that that's another potato plant as well um over here let's see this is another one of my let's see if anything is in there oh yes yeah, some are coming up pepper um over here if i wonder if you can see that in that i got one little one right there so they really hide their self in here <laughs> But I do have some peppers, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, okay. Over here, I have some of... I, I believe... Huh, I can't remember. This is my... Uh, mm, I don't know if this is my okra plant, or is this my other... Um, I don't, yeah, this might be my okra plant, actually. Because I had another... Um, 
green beans, but I think my other green bean is over there. I wanted to do more because this one is kind of like looking kind of weary over here. And actually, I'm going to plant some more because I learned so much about um, uh, bush. I didn't realize how big it was going to get or how small it was going to get. So now I know when you do bush green beans, it doesn't get too big. So I'm going to need to do more so I can have more for my family. So I'm really happy about that. Over here, these are my five different watermelons. Well, actually the first one right here, that is a cantaloupe. These are my different watermelons I had planted because I really want to have watermelon today. So hopefully um, I will be able to get one or two watermelons. So I'm really grateful and I'm trellis them up. See, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure they go up on the trellis, which I kind of did that here. And as they grow up and see how this one wrapping around. Go ahead, baby. Wrap yourself around there. He wrapping himself around there already. So that's good. That's what I'm trying to do. Get him to grow up and see how that one right there. He wrapping his little self right around. So I'm really grateful today. Um, that's my last one. So, yeah. And then I have three little ones over here I'm working on growing. They look really nice. Um, they haven't sprouted up anything. Let me show you. Yeah, nothing has sprouted up yet. I'm just waiting patiently. I'm excited. Yeah, guys. So I said, let me get on out here and water before it get really, really hot. Um, cause that heat is, ain't no joke. So I'm about to go over here, turn my water on and get that done and go back in the house and just relax. So I have everyone have a safe and blessed day. If you like the contents of my video, please subscribe, like, and post a comment cause it helps to get it out to the community and maybe somebody else might enjoy the video that you're liking and i'm just i'm just so 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 happy <laughs> i was not expecting to come out here to see as much as i did oh yeah and i i don't know if i mentioned i did harvest one um cucumber so again i'm hoping to have more cucumbers so that i can eat them it was really really good um you gotta check out that video of my one little cucumber I posted um, in the contents in the um, in the bottom of this video. But yeah, all in all, I'm super excited, y'all. All right, well that's it for the day. Have a great one. Peace and love. Bye.